In this video, we will look at exporting flat trap of the applied plies, creating section cuts, and setting up the boundary conditions for torsional analysis of the chassis. Update the model. Open the layout plots tree, and show the draping mesh. In the modeling groups, inside the bottom mold, select the first ply where the draping algorithm was applied. The red outline is the ply geometry, required to wrap the bottom surface of the chassis. To export this shape, go to the selected ply and click on Export. Select the suitable output format, and click on OK to save the ply geometry. The ply layers applied onto the model can be visualized with section cuts. Create a section cut. Untick the interactive plane, and specify the normal direction orthogonal to the current plane. Increase the scale factor to 3, and define the section cut type to analysis ply wise, which will show us every individual ply layer. Hide the thickness plot. In the element sets, hide all elements, and the top mold. The white lines visualize each individual ply. We have two layers of stack up that is four layers of the face sheet, one big thick layer of core, and then another four face sheets. Close the ACP pre window and update the setup. Drop a static structural analysis system onto the workbench. Drag and drop the ACP setup onto the model tab and select Transfer Shell Composite Data. Open ANSYS Mechanical. In this case we will analyze the monocoque chassis under torsional loading condition. The geometry, materials, coordinate system and mesh are transferred from ACP to mechanical. The imported plies consist of all the individual ply information defined inside the modeling groups in ACP Pre. To simulate the torsion test, we will fix the rear bulkhead and twist the chassis from the suspension attachments. Insert fixed support from the static structural tab and scope it to the two rear faces at the back. Insert a remote force, and apply it onto the right-hand suspension mounting faces. Change the coordinate system to origin 1 ACP, and make X, Y, and Z component 0. Change the defined by to components, with 6870 Newton in the Y direction. The remote force acts on the location of the wheel hubs, which will give a coupling moment to induce the torque in the chassis. Add the same remote force scope to the left side suspension mounting points. Insert equivalent stress contour from the solution tab, and change the scope to layer. Solve the model.
The equivalent stress contour shows a maximum stress of 238 MPa. Animate the results, to visualize the twisting of the chassis. In the next video, we will look at composite failure criteria and parametrization in ACP Pre.